G'day legends, I hope you're all fantastic. On today's installment of 5 Minute Tones, I want to break down the main live preset that I'm using on my FM9. This is the exact preset that I used a week or two ago down at Strings Attached Festival. If you caught us at the gig or if you caught my workshop, you would have heard this. I actually broke this preset down in the workshop, so I want to do it again right here. I'm using a PRS SC245 straight into the FM9. That is going to my UA interface and straight into Pro Tools with no post-processing. So kind of what you hear is what you get with this particular preset. If you're not using my guitar and you're not playing the way I play, it's obviously not going to sound exactly the same. So take these tips and tweak them to suit your rig. That is always the big takeaway here. But if you've seen one of my preset breakdowns before, this is all going to look pretty straightforward. There are some fun little things in here, as you can probably guess by looking at the grid. But main app, USA lead mid gain. I basically went extensively between this and my real Boogie Mark IV and got them to sound incredibly similar at my favorite settings. You can see the bass is low, the mid range is low, the treble is pumped up, as you do with a real Mark series amp. We've got some stuff happening in the output EQ. The sliders on the real boogie are not very linear at all. So on the real boogie, they were looking like quite a V shape and actually translates to this with this particular amp model. I have changed the speaker impedance curve to the 5153, turned speaker drive down a little bit and speaker thump up. But otherwise, Nothing too crazy happening. There's a gate side chain to input number one. I'm using my go to cabinet IR. I've got some post parametric EQ. I've got a video about this talking about why I set these filters where they are. I've got some multi band compression to just kind of tame some low end when I'm chugging away. And on this, I've got a bit of London plate reverb, probably my favorite reverb in here. I'll let you hear my big, dirty rhythm sound to get started. <laughs> I really like the way that sounds and feels and I like that it's super distorted and super chunky but there's a lot of clarity in there for those extended chords that I play. One thing that I have as an option in here is after the reverb I have some stereo pitch detune. This particular block was matched to a preset on my Eventide H3500 and I've got it set up so that I can kick it in with the top right foot switch on my FM9 but it's tied to scene ignore so if I turn it on say in this scene, and then I switch over to any other scene, it's just gonna stay on. So I'll let you hear that. <laughs> Now, using the dual chromatic block lets you play around with the pitch tracking parameter in here and a few other little things. I'll let you hear just the dual detune mode in here with the same settings. They do sound different. I think the dual chromatic has like a tiny amount more character about it, but the dual detune is smoother. <laughs> At the end of the day, it makes a difference to me, so that's why it's in there. If you can't hear a difference, you don't have to put it in there. Scene number two is my lead scene, where basically I'm using control switches per scene in the preamp tab to activate the input boost and on the fat switch over here in the control, as you can see, I go to CS per scene, I can set the status of those control switches. So basically this is pumping up the mid range and it's got an input boost. So I'm using the CC boost over here and I'm kicking in the quad parallel delay. You can get these delay settings if you go and grab my blocks library. They're posted on Discord and the Fractal Forum. Uh, nothing is really changing aside from that, and I am giving a little bit of a boost here in the output block scene levels. This is so fun. <laughs> Basically the same as my first scene, but it's got the stereo BBD as a rhythmic delay. I love 
love how crusty those delays sound. Scene four adds the rotary block. I use this in a song called The World You Gave Us and for the intro of a song called Rewind Your Mind. Scene five has some trickery. I use this in a couple of songs for this ADSR tuned filter. So it's a resonant low pass filter. You can see I've got the source set to ADSR one, but when I switch to scene five, the controllers tab is gonna switch over to channel B where the ADSR settings are different. So basically, what's the best way to do this? I'm gonna to change to scene five and you'll see the ADSR shape change and the filter is gonna sweep up, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I'll show you how I'd actually use that in a song. That's always impressive. I do have a wah in this preset as well. If I don't want to do that, I can just step on the wah. You all know what a wah sounds like though. Scene six and seven are the same as scene one and two. They just have this FAS vibe on there. <laughs> the times when I want to pretend to be Robin Trower. And then scene eight is my clean scene. It's using some trickery here. This is using a parametric EQ to make my humbuckers sound a bit more like single coils. I've got a five minute tones video about that you can check out. Then I'm using a tilt EQ into a compressor. It's running into the rest of the chain and I've got this digital stereo set up to do like a 2290 style chorus on there. I have the stereo BBD for some rhythmic delay and it's the same reverb. This is set up like a Rockman style sound. Check it out. <laughs> little tricks to kind of fine tune a live guitar tone in there. If I was going to record with this, I would just turn the parametric EQ over here off so that I've got the cabinet block wide open with lots of information. Otherwise, that's pretty much it at the moment. This is always an iterative process going from gig to gig and session to session. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you have any questions, you can ask them either in the comments or come and join my Discord server and chat away in the digital modeling section there. This preset I will put up online for you all to try it as well. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. Go and make some glorious guitar noises and I'll see you next time. Cheers.